So I know what you're thinking, where have I been? So if you can't tell, I've moved houses. This is why I've still got some boxes and bags and stuff behind me. I still haven't even got my bed yet. I've ordered a brand new bed, it's still not come. So yeah, I just thought I'd do a video for now until the setup's done properly. And uh, yeah, today we're gonna react to some more Kay's cooking. She's doing a meat and potato pie and a Wigan kebab. I don't know what the hell that is, but yeah, please like this video right now if you want me to do more Kay's cooking videos. Just go down below, drop it a like, appreciate it. Now let's get into the video. One is a meat and potato pie, which someone's asked Ooh. me to do. And the other ones is, is, is a Wigan kebab, I think something. Not gonna lie, I ain't got a fucking jibbery do what she's talking about. Never in my life I've heard of a fucking Wigan kebab. What the fuck's that entail of? Or is that a place? I don't know. Here we go. As you can see, I've got the meat already cooked in there and I've got the spud taters already cooked in there. Oh, the fuck up, calm down. Man's just come in like off 12 Red Bull that I've got some meat and taste in there. Right, as you can see, I've got four ounces of flour in. A little bit of salt. Literally just robbed the flipping salt from the local chippy. See the little pot she had there? That's what you always see on the counters at the local chippy. <laughs> and some oh, butter. That's it. Oh! I thought she had. I thought she captured SpongeBob for a second there. Jesus Christ! Oh, my heart sank. So I'm gonna. A lot of you will have seen me rubbing butter into flour before. So well, that's all I'm going to be doing. I've actually never seen you make oat fresh. No, mate, straight out of the freezer with a bit of frostbite still on it. And now it's in breadcrumbs. I'm going to add some water. Oh. Mix it with my uh, hands. As you know, I hate doing this bit. I flipping hate anything sticky on my hands. You know, like when, like, you know, you've got some kind of sweet that's stuck to your hand and it's all sticky and shit. Or when you're baking a cake and you have to, like, rub it in and it's all, like, between your fingers looking like Spider-Man's just fucking nutted all over your hands. And you're like... <laughs> I hate that feeling. <coughs> but... It's got to be done. Right, as you can see, I'm rolling it out and I'm taking it back with me. Need some more so... flour on top. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. But... You know, I think she's emptied the whole bag onto the flipping table. You're just supposed to sprinkle a bit of dust in on top. I mean, on the table. Put the thing on top, sprinkle it on top, roll it out, you're done. Too much... If Tony Montana was in her gaff, he'd be having a fucking field day, be getting right excited about. Lovely. So on it, never mind, not to worry. I'm gonna roll it out. Ah oh dear. Here we go again. So get some more flour on it, it might make it better. So we'll roll it out and Hopefully, it should fit in the tin. Oh yes, it'll fit lovely in there. Hopefully it should fit in the tin. Have you seen the size of the tin to the fucking surface area of the uh, flour? You'd be fit about a ten in that gaff, you know what I mean? <laughs> First of all, why should you make a pie with a tin about as big to fill a fucking borrower's stomach? Like, what's going on? That's a fucking one bite for me. Imagine coming home. Be like, oh, nice, what we got? Homemade pie, fuck it. What's this? Mince pie? Right, as you can see, I've got some meat and potatoes. I've cut the meat up. So now I'm going to cut... Get the fuck out of here. Some meat and... Some meat and potatoes. She's literally gone to the fucking supermarket, bought some kitty cat fucking food and just emptied that shit into the bowl. That is cat food right there. Holy shit. Disgusting. Put the potatoes up, mix them together and put them in the pan. Why the fuck is she cutting up mashed potato? They look soft as shit. You don't need to, there's no cutting there. When you're boiling the potatoes, cut them up into decent little sizes to put in the pan once they've like part boiled and shit. You know what I mean? No need to use some scissors on some fucking mash. What's up with you? Right. Let's 
Right, now I'm going to put the meat and potato in. There is gravy in. It's a bit of gravy. Not an ounce of seasoning to be seen. The only thing that's going to take, have any taste to it is the gravy. Imagine literally rocking up from work, fucking proper starving, and your missus is like, yeah, I've just made you a kitty cat meat and tater pie. Oh, what's that? Never heard of that before. Yeah, about 93p for the sachet of cat meat down, down in Tesco. Divorce. I asked Lee if he wanted one lump or two. <laughs> As we do like thick gravy, and you can see the gravy going in. That way you probably can't wait. I've seen more thickness on a fucking Bible. Like, where's where's the thick gravy? What you want about? It's about as thin as my fucking pubic hair. Right, so now it's got all to be spreaded out. Is that a word, spreaded? Well, I make it up, so. Right, now that's all frattered out. Frattered, frattered, frattered. She best be trimming off the measures. I remember when going to my nan's and she used to obviously get the paste over the tin and add all the stuff into it and spin the, the bowl while she's cutting off the edges. And then she obviously gets the roll of pastry on top, pinches it all together, cuts it all round, pokes some holes in it. I've put the pie lid on, crust on. Pie lid on? Looks like a bastard scone. Looks like Eggs Benedict. You best be pinching the edges round and po poking some holes in. What? It's like putting a wet towel on a fucking wound on your leg and hoping for it to stay on while you're walking around all day. That shit's going to slide off. You better be pinching it together. Lid on. Whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to seal it with milk. Oh, lovely. That's it all nice and... Then just glaze it on top of it to milk. So now I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm going to check it for five minutes because it's only a little baby pie. You're telling me? I won't even fill my left fucking nutsack. <laughs> baby pie. Jesus Christ. Definitely for a borrower. Is the end product of a part of the of the of a meat and potato pie? Holy fuck. So she didn't pinch it together then. She didn't do any kind of like poking any holes in the top. Just nothing. I bet when she lifts that, the literally lid of the fucking crust just comes off. It's not even connected <laughs> to the base of the pie at all. Looks like a fucking jellyfish having a stroke. Mm. And as I said, it was two videos in one, which is the meat and potato pie and uh, I think it's Wigan kebab. How's it gone? How's that? Wait, hold up. My brain's fucking shutting down right now. I, I... <coughs> How the f... <coughs> How is a pie, yeah, put inside a bread cake, a bun, a bap, whatever you want to call it, turned into a kebab? How's that happen then? I... Adding bread above it and below it turns it into a kebab. I'm sorry, but, excuse me, <laughs> where's the kebab for a start? <laughs> like, where is it? Cat food, pastry, bread. <laughs> that's all you've got, and then you've got a kebab. Holy shit, I feel sorry for everyone in Wigan, if that's your fucking kebab. This test then. Can you taste the meat and potato in the pie? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Pie, well, pastry, is not um, dry. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. I, mind you, I did put some gravy in, a little bit of gravy in, didn't I? Well, I don't know, but I don't know what you've done, but it's not dry. Normally, your pastry is a bit dry. Well, it always has been. You know, so I said, nothing to do with the content inside the pie. It's just about. Normally your paste is really dry and today it's not because the only thing he's tasting right now is fucking pastry. She was like, oh, I added some gravy in it. That might be it. No, it's not. <laughs> the only thing he's eating right now is fucking pastry. But yeah, that, that was it for today's video. Let me know what you thought about it. Would you eat this? Would you try it? Would you even make it? Have you ever had a Wigan pie before? 
I definitely ain't going to have one of these bag of shits. Absolutely disgusting. But yeah, if you want me to do more case videos, I want to get this video to 100, 200, 300 likes. Let's see if you guys can perform. And if you haven't already liked this video, I hope you fucking stand on Lego bricks, you stub your toe for every single day for the rest of the year. And until next time, stay safe. I'm out.